What is going on guys, it's Hanprogrammer here, back again with another Minecraft mod review and in this mod slash addons review, we're gonna be reviewing the one and only Drill Buddy addons. This addon is really cool, it just came out like a few days ago, so let's just get into the video right now. Alright. I spawned in this mountain, actually no, I spawned somewhere else, but I think I prefer this area. We got village there, we got a ravine there, and I got some backpacks that I carry around. This thing is filled with goods, so let's place in the first one. The first one is filled with entire thing. This is the every single of item that you can make in this add-on. The content of the chest is actually very variative. So let me give you a tour from the top row. In the top row we got the drill body itself, which is a machine you can use to drill things. But the bottom ones we got the drill itself, which I'm gonna show you the recipe in this moment. The recipe is just very simple by the way. So we got the drill body key to activate the drill itself. Let's see the recipe. This is for the drill itself. You just need this. Replace this with any materials that you think it will fit, like gold, iron, diamond, stone, and wooden. Yes, that's right. Stone and wooden has its own variants too. And this is the key. You need to replace diamond with the material you want to actually make the key. And as for the drill itself, the recipe is like this. Two woods on this side, two woods on this side, one chest on above, the piston, normal one, not a sticky one, with stick on two feet, and one drill. You can choose any drill types you want, gold, diamond, and iron, and wood and stone. And let's actually take this item, so I'm gonna take this item. I'm gonna throw this around, I don't need you anymore, bye. Alright. Let's spawn in the simply the wooden first. Hold sneak and then right click to actually see is it where you want to spawn it. Sometimes it will disappear after a long time. If you want to cancel it, just don't do anything. If you want to place it, just hold sneak, right click, it will spawn. And right click again to actually summon it. Now it has its own inventory if you sneak and right click. It has its own chest, which is very cool. This design is I like it. Let's grab in the key for the wooden one. Alright, it will start drilling a one by one hole and as different materials go, it will has different variety. Is it not digging? I see a block there, so you must place it actually in line for the wooden one. And as you can see, it will actually explode like that. It has its own durability. So let's see. The stone one should not have the same problem with the wooden one. Because it drills a bit wider area. Let's put those in and grab the key. Boom. Yeah, it takes 3x3 three three hole, and the hole is getting bigger and bigger as the different materials is in. Also, this body will pick up item, and will drop the item upon dying, or breaking. And this body will keep drilling until its durability is zero, then it will self-destruct itself. It's still the best that you go down with the drill, as you can see it dead, but it does drops the drill back. That's a very nice feature. Um, let's put the next one, iron. I think this one is gonna be huge. Let's grab something and activate. Boom! It takes around five by 5 blocks from the drill itself. Also the durability is supposed to be bigger as the material is very strong. As it more strong the material you use to make the drills, the more durability it has, 
the more bigger it, the holes will be. The only downside to this, you need to remake the key, I think. Let's test it on survival later on. But for now, let's see how deep is this hole gonna be. Also, it gives you the XP upon the ores you dig. Very cool. It's very deep. Also, it found a cave. As you can see, this hole is from the wooden. I helped it a little bit since it only take one hole deep and one hole wide. This one is 3x3, three 5x5 three, five five for iron. Let's test the last two. I think it's gonna be big, so I'm gonna put it here. Like so. And let's grab in the keys as well. Also, I'm gonna test it with the diamonds at the same time, so to make things a little bit faster, maybe. Let's put it somewhere above there. Let's start them in 3, 2, 1, go! Okay, so the gold is supposed to be 2 blocks faster than the diamond since I started the time differently. It's kinda laggy in my screen. I hope you guys are not feeling the lag. But yeah, these two should take not the same depth because, you know, diamond is better than gold, right? Alright, the gold has just expired. Let's see the diamonds, how is it going? See that the gold stops there. Diamond still going. Found some water. Okay, you see there. The diamond is actually want to go deeper. But one of the weakness of this drill is that when it sees water or in contact with water, it will disappear. No items drop or something like that. You know, you see? I got only one, which I get from the barrels above. And it doesn't drop itself. In contact with any liquid like water or lava, this drill will demolish itself. So we haven't actually know how deep is the diamond is, but you can see it's very big. And the gold drop itself and some XP, which is very nice as I think. You will want to use at least iron or stone as a starter. That's already very much enough for you to go down, go up. You know, very simple, just use it twice, it will get the same depth. Alright guys, that's all I got time for today, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.